Okay, so this is the last call of the four-part blitz training series that we did today. And um, really going to focus on um, recruiting and building your team and that focus of your business. I think that a lot of people, that's a big part of the puzzle that's missing. Oops, sorry, all close and personal. That's missing with a lot of coaches when it comes to building your business and really moving forward with what you're doing with your business. Um, you know, a lot of people, what I don't think they realize is that a big, sorry, I'm itching my arm. A big part of that is goes with um, building a team. So we've talked about um, mastering the three vital behaviors. We've talked about, um, what else we talked about? We talked about oh, using social media to build your business and to get people um, invested and interested in you. We've also talked about how one do people involved running challenge groups. So now we're going to talk a bit more about building your team and building your business through rank advancements. So I'm not going to cover too much about what it takes to advance in rank or what their different rank advancements are. Those can be found in your online office. So you can just go to those. I'll give you all the information that you need for that. But what I wanted to focus on more today in this call was talking about why you should really be focusing on um, rank advancement and the benefits of how it really grows your business. So what I will say is that yes, you can get a lot of stuff um, handled and covered and, and done when it comes to building your business and hitting Success Club, right? Success Club is the main way to drive your business. So if you're not hitting Success Club every single month, then you're not, you're basically leaving a big chunk of opportunity on the table every single month that you don't. So first and foremost, you should be making Success Club a non-negotiable goal, goal every single month. Um, so that's definitely something that will, you know you should really um, focus on as much as possible. Um, of that first and foremost, um, but through the process of Success Club, which I like, is that it kind of sets the tone and creates opportunities for you to start talking to people and getting people engaged and getting people invested in coaching and being interested in coaching. So the last video that we talked about, the training we talked about, was using challenge groups as a way to really build your business and to really make you a better coach. Well, when it comes to your challenge groups and the challengers, the, the best place to find your potential coaches are going to be in your challenge groups. Those are going to be the places where you're going to find people who, one, have already started the process of the three battle behaviors. Why? Because in your group, they've replaced one meal a day with Shakeology. So they're already on board with how great it is, how it makes them feel. They love it. They've experienced it. They've experimented with different recipes. They found their flow, hopefully, of Shakeology that they enjoy. Two, they are getting results for a Beachbody program. So they understand how the programs work, why they're so great, why they're so amazing. You don't, you don't have to spend a lot of time focusing on the, the, magic, the magic of Beachbody, which is our Shakeology and our fitness programs. Our fitness programs come with nutrition guides, calendars. They're created by professionals to get results. They are able to be on video or DVD as well as streamed online. So they have all the capabilities, all the ability to really um, focus on um, getting being proof the product works and they probably are big fans and cheerleaders now of Beachbody because they're getting results they feel better they look better they're more consistent with their working out and they're getting awesome results so they naturally are going to pull pay it forward um, and that's really what's cool about that is um, they're able to to do that so give me one second they're able to do that. So that's something that's really cool from step one, being proof the product works. Two, which is also really cool, is that they're also able to, um, they're also getting in the habit of probably being a little bit more like focused on personal development because in your groups, if you're doing them correctly, you're posting um, really positive motivational stuff, you're pushing them to do the same thing. And what you could even do as part of your challenge groups is make personal development a part of it. 
So every day post a video or something that's 10 minutes minim um, minimum um, for them to watch and, and share their takeaways with. So now they're investing in personal development. But as you see them getting great results and really investing in personal development and diving in and stepping up to be a rock star, that's going to be your prime time to ask them, hey, have you ever considered coaching like me? The reason why I think you'd be so great at Beachbody coaching is because you are killing it in this group. You're getting great results already. You are motivating and inspiring the ones that are in this group. And I've seen some of your posts on your, on your own social media um, profiles. People are really um, engaged and invested in your journey thus far. And I'm sure that you could help to inspire and motivate so many other people. And one way you could do that is by hosting groups just like this and doing exactly what I'm doing. And I would love to partner with you in that. By simply doing something, sorry, I'm going to scoot up. It's like the lighting is off. Mm -hmm. Doing something simple like that is a great way to get people at least thinking about the beach body coaching opportunity because now you're letting them know that they have done something successful. You're recognizing their strengths in the, in the whole process of the challenge groups. You're now showing them that this could be a great opportunity because as beach body coaches, we're here to help change people's lives. That's like the main thing that we're doing, right? And if you're able to just dig in and to start opening your mouth and inviting people, I think a lot of times when we have our challenge groups, after the challenge group is over, we just let people go. I'm like, all right, great. Thanks for joining. Join the next one. If you have some rock star people that are in your, in your challenge groups, you should be talking to them about coaching. Now, if you are a brand new coach or you've only been a coach for a couple of months, and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm still trying to get the hang of my challenge groups. I don't even know if I'm able to, um, you know, I don't want to talk to someone about coaching. That's totally understandable. So what I would suggest is that you work with your upline sponsor. If you're on Limitless Warriors, you talk to me. Um, and you know, what I would do for you is every time that you have a challenge group, then if you have a bunch of people or even one person you think would be a great coach, then I want to connect with you and then we'll either do a three-way call with that person and we can talk more about coaching or you can invite them to one of our What Are Coaching Opportunity calls. Or you can invite them to a, um, a three-day coach sneak peek group. Any one of those will be a perfect way to say, if they say, yeah, it sounds like something I'd be interested in, but I'm not quite sure. At that point, your next thing is like, okay, great. Well, I would love to introduce you to my coach who is a two-star diamond, three-star diamond, whatever. And she would love to get on the phone with you and explain a little bit more about coaching. And you can like ask her a lot more questions um, and just get more information. Or you say, well, great. Actually, tonight or next week, we're having, our whole team is having a what is coaching call. We can learn more about Beachbody coaching. Would you be interested to, to listen to that call, get more information? And then we can touch base and I can answer more questions. Or set up a three-way call after that with your upline sponsor or with me. Um, or you invite them to a three-day coach, you know, open house sneak peek group. So there are many different ways. I think the most important thing is that you are just simply asking people if they'd be interested in learning more and then inviting them to an opportunity to hear more about it. And it doesn't have to be from you. I think a lot of people get so freaked out by it. Um, I get so freaked out by it because they think like, oh, you could do all this stuff and I don't just say, and what if I mess it up? And, you know, that's what makes this business so amazing is that you have people that are going before you who've already done it that are going to reach back and pay it forward to you and help you to bring your coaches on board. At that point, once they have listened to the video or they've listened to the call or they've been a part of the group, the next step is you want to just follow up with them and ask them what questions they have. A great book to read if you're wondering about how to kind of move through that process of um, talking to people about becoming coaches is GoPro by Eric Warre. Um, I have the, the privilege to go to his event, his live event in Las Vegas, and I will be I'm trying to find it, but maybe it's not here. Well, I was going to show you. Oh, here we go. Last year, and then I'm also going this year to back to Vegas in October sometime. I guess I should figure that out. I should probably really figure that out. 
when I'm actually going to be there. <laughs> but I'll be there again for his recruiting mastery. And he really taught us a lot about how to focus on building your team and growing and really taking things to the next level. So GoPro is a great book by Eric Warre. It's E-R-I-C, Warre, W-O-R-R-E. So you definitely want to check that out if you're looking on how to really build a team. Why is it so important to build a team, especially in Beachbody? Um, I can't speak for other companies, um, but what I can say is that once you get to that leadership position and you have a team of people, that's when your business really begins, like a, a switch happens and your business begins to grow exponentially. Um, you start getting team cycle bonuses. You start getting more opportunities for a greater income because now you have a team of people that are out there on this mission and growing and building and Beachbody rewards you for that. So the quicker you can get to leadership positions in this company, the quicker you will see additional income coming into your account, bank account every single week, which is pretty awesome. I would be honest and say that majority of my income now comes from my bonuses from being a Star Diamond coach. Um, but that was also the case when I was an Emerald coach, um, when I was just a Diamond coach. Um, I remember there were times where I would go on vacation and not have access to really good Wi-Fi. So I couldn't work the business as well as I wanted to, but I was still getting, you know, $100 checks, 200, 300, 400, um, just like constantly coming in because I had a team and I was leading a team and I was in a certain leadership position where I was still being able to accumulate um, bonuses. So that's one way to, to really, if you're saying, I want to make this a six figure income, it's going to be very difficult to do that when you're only focusing on the retail side of the business. The recruiting side of the business is where you're going to see more income coming in quicker. So it's really important that you think about how you want to run your business. There are three different buckets. You're going to have your, um, you know, what we call them is just like discount coaches. Those are coaches that simply love the Shakeology. Um, they love our programs and products and they love the 25% discount on all of our programs and products. Okay. That's the first bucket. Um, and that's perfectly fine if that's what you want to do, you know, and that's, there's no shame in anyone's game. Then we have, well, it's kind of like, like the middle ground coaches, coaches that are not really able to invest that much time in building a business or building a team, but every now and then, you know, they'll work the business. They, you know, may have a few friends or family members that want Shakeology, so they'll, you know, mention it to them. If they buy, great. If not, no big deal. Sometimes they just want to make enough to cover their monthly Shakeology and their monthly fitness programs. So they're not working the business as actively. But if you're a type of person where you're like, I want to work from home, I want to quit my job, I want to travel and work from anywhere, I want to pay off all this debt, I want to do all these amazing things for my family, go on vacations, you know, buy a new car, buy a new home, if that's what you're saying you want to do, then it's going to be so important that you focus on building a team. That's where the top coaches, majority, I can't speak for every coach, but most coaches who are um, really reaping the benefits of having that financial ability to you know, do all these things, it's because they have a team and they're building this army of coaches that are out there to help people get healthy and to get fit. And in turn, they're doing the same for their lives and their business and their income. So that's what's really, really important. So the first place to look for potential customers and or potential coaches are going to be in your challenge groups, which means you need to be hosting monthly challenge groups every single month and getting new people in every single month, hitting success club. Because when people are purchasing challenge packs, remember, they can sign up to be a coach for free. Their, their coaching membership um, – fee, intro fee, is waived. So it makes sense for you to get your, your challenge pack customers who are rocking it out, who are clearly showing they can be amazing coaches to join through that route. Are there other routes you can do it? Absolutely. You just may know someone who's just so much like you, 
fun, energetic, motivated, passionate, loving fitness, loving Shakeology. Um, maybe didn't do a challenge group, but you just like they would be a great coach. I really want to talk to them. Then reach out to them and ask them about you know becoming a beach body coach. Um, and the same thing, then you just invite them to a sneak peek group or a call or a three-way call or a webinar or something. That's really what you want to focus on, um, bringing people in. But with important is that you must always have a list. I always talk about my list because having a list is the most important thing for your business. So what I would do is I would start thinking about who are people that you think would either be great challengers or great coaches and then reach out to them and either invite them to a challenge group and then in the middle of the challenge group, invite them to one of our coaching calls or one of our, um, uh, stink peaks or whatever it is, just start getting the habit of inviting people. Here's the reality. In this business, you will probably hear more no's than you hear yeses, and that's okay. Don't let that deter you from continuing to ask. The more you ask, the more you talk about it, and the more calls that you listen to that are what are coaching calls and sneak peek groups, the more confident you will be in inviting and speaking about the coaching opportunity. As you keep doing your part of mastering the three vital behaviors, rocking it out on social media, hitting success club, running awesome challenge groups, you get stronger, you get better, you get more confident and competent as a coach, your business grows, your friends, your family, your coworkers are going to see, and you're investing in personal development, so they're going to see you changing and getting better. It's going to attract them to like learn at least know what you're doing and learn more about this coaching thing or the beach body thing. Um, and that's something to really think about as you're growing your business. People are watching, so it's so important that you do that. You have your list. You're inviting people to challenge groups. You're inviting people to any of the different opportunity um, events that are available. And then from there, it's really all about moving them through the process. One thing to think about when it comes to this business is that the, mo the, co the most successful coaches that have the most successful teams are the coaches that are able to duplicate what they've done to get success in an easy way for their coaches. So if you're currently a coach and you're about you're thinking about adding people to your team or you're an Emerald coach or you're really close to Diamond and like your business isn't moving, I would suggest that you use this time to focus on you first mastering the basics because one thing is the speed of the pack is the speed of the leader if you are if you want all of your coaches to be these rock star coaches that are hitting success club every single month you have to show up and be doing the exact same thing because your coaches are going to be watching you and if you're not doing what you need to be doing in your business they're going to mimic whatever you're doing so if you're operating at a 50 percent level guess what your coaches are going to be doing 50 percent if you want your coaches to be knocking out the knocking out the park, you better be knocking it out the park because they are looking to you, looking to you, to you for you for guidance. Being successful in your business, what's happening for them is they're going to think that they can't do it, or you're going to set the precedent of what's capable and possible for them to do. So it's really really important that you, as the coach, you make sure that you set the standard and then and set it high enough that people can aspire to it. But if they surpass you because they're just rocking out and taking your advice, that's amazing. I have some coaches that are doing better than I am in rank and you know volume for the week. I love to see that. That means that they are taking the information and they're going even more intense with it. And that's a great feeling as a coach for me to see my team kicking butt every single week. But if I'm not even showing up to the table, I'm not, you know, doing what needs to be done, I'm not leading by example, your coaches, you're going to stay here, and what's going to happen is they're going to get more frustrated, so they're going to stop working, you come down. And it kind of keeps going down until you're not in the picture, and neither are your coaches. So it's so important that you first start here, and if, or start here, because you're the coach. These are your coaches. So you start here. If you're, you know, if you've had a slump in your business, make today the day that you get back to it. Do your three vital behaviors. Do them like a boss. Schedule your next um, challenge groups. Get them going. Create your list. Share with your, at the same time, share with your team what you're doing. Sometimes I feel as though you guys aren't 
or you guys, but as coaches and me, myself included, I don't share what I'm doing that's working because I'm so busy working and my nose is to the grindstone that I'm not paying it forward to share with my team tips and tricks. I'm not um, hitting success club or I'm not, or no, I'm hitting success club, but I may not be sharing what am I doing to hit success club. I may not be sharing my best practices. So make sure that they understand what do your days look like? What do your weeks look like? What do your months look like? How do you secure a success club by the fifth or the sixth day of the month every single month? You know, show them these things. Share screenshots of conversations that went very well. Share screenshots of conversations that didn't go so well and then explain how to make it better. Um, you know, make sure that they understand the importance of tracking and doing the three vital behaviors consistently. If you're not drinking Shakeology every single day, your coaches will not. If you're not working out with the, Shake, with the Beachbody program every single day, your coaches will not. If you're not getting your butt to Super Saturdays, your coaches will not. There are things that you have to do that if you're not doing them, your coaches will not do them. And it makes them seem like they don't know what to do with their business. So that's, that's the first thing. You have to make sure that you're doing your work to hit the, the um, success and accolades that you need to do for your business. Two, make sure that every new coach that you bring on, that you're doing a getting started right call with them. In this call, make sure you're understanding what their goals are, understand how many hours a day they can dedicate to the business, understand um, what type of coach they want to be. Do they want to be that discount coach? Do they want to be a part-time coach? Or are they an all-in coach? Understand all of these things. Also explain to them your role as their upline sponsor coach. Go through the business quick start guide with them. It is the roadmap of how to do your, your groups or your calls. Go through all of that with them. After they've gone through that, put them into a coach basics group. Your upline coach or your diamond coach and your team should be hosting one every single month at least. With that being said, what, what will then transpire from there is that they will get the training that they need to start their business. But don't just put your coaches into a, a new coaching group and then leave it to whoever's running that to manage their training. They're going to give the best they can, but you're still their sponsored coach. So you should be setting up one-on-one -on -one calls with them every single week until they feel comfortable or at least for the first month to two months of their business. So that way they can ask questions, you can give them tasks. I'm a big fan of giving them a task to focus on for the week. It may be creating your list of 100 people and reaching out to at least 50% of that list and getting through the five-step invite process with them. And then you have them come back to you and tell you, do they get 50 people or do they do more? Do they do less? This will show you how serious this coach is about growing their business and working the business. If they don't do the tasks that you ask, then you have to really question how serious are you and have an honest conversation about that with them. Another thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you are um, – teaching them how to do the exact same thing. So maybe they will shadow you in your next challenge group. So you know how to run challenge groups. And then during your weekly calls, you talk about what to prepare for and what to do. It's really important that you don't leave your coaches out to dry. I will be the first to admit, there are some coaches on our team that I simply didn't know how to lead. I didn't know how to be a better coach for them. So, or a better sponsor coach for them. And they either quit or they're struggling in their business because they miss that really important mark of their business. Um, but the great thing about that is you can always start over. So if you haven't done a getting started right call with your coach or your coaches, do it now. Set up a time and go through everything and say, we're going to do a restart in your business and we're going to start brand new. Plug them into a new coach basic group. They may need it anyway. And kind of run that process the whole way through to make sure that they're getting all the information that they need to, to really run their business properly. Um, if you are struggling with leadership, I went through a phase where I was struggling to be a leader. I didn't feel like I was a capable leader. I felt like I was a failure as a leader. That's where my personal development came in. I started reading tons of John C. Maxwell books, listening to videos and audios of just learning how to be a better leader. And you know what? I'm still learning how to be a better leader. But with all that being said, I am at a place, I'm at a point now where I feel way more confident in myself as a leader. Um, some other books to read are The Go-Giver, um, You Are a Badass, 
girl boss, read some books about how to be a leader and to lead an organization. Um, that's what's something that's really important for you to focus on with your business. Um, and the very last thing is, as you continue this process, make sure that you are teaching your coaches to do the exact same thing that you are teaching them how to duplicate what they are doing in their business to their coaches. The most successful coaches are those that know how to duplicate their business and really train their coaches to do the exact same thing. That's a secret sauce. I started this blitz training with the secret sauce and the three battle behaviors and mastering that. The next stage or the end of that spectrum is the other part of the secret sauce and that's the power of duplication and leading by example. If you can duplicate what you're doing and teach it in a way that's easy for someone else to learn and do themselves, which Beachbody does a really good job of teaching that, it's the exact same thing. So go for it. Really think about it. Um, when it comes to um, your managing your team, one thing that I would suggest is to, whether you do like a personal development book club with all of your coaches or have them just do the, the test, it's the color code. I'm a big fan of the color code. Some people like Danny Johnson's um, version of it or I think it's Personality Plus are some of the basically just different personality types you get to learn about your coaches you just see what motivates them what drives them what um do what what they're um how they like to be in, involved in the process um you know some people like the team setting some people are motivated by money some are motivated by recognition some are motivated by freedom so it really allows you to learn a bit more about your coaches and how to work with them sometimes um you know i thought like certain people were i, I do the color code i thought people were blue and i treated them like a blue when i should have been treating them like a white or a yellow or a red um which if you do the color code you'll understand what i'm talking about but I'm a yellow, whoop, whoop. That's like the official yellow um, sign and call. It's a whoop, whoop with the hand raise. Um, so where my, where my yellows are, um, this is where we go. So that's something to definitely think about. Understanding your coaches and understanding how they best like to be worked with is really important. Do you, you know, I have some coaches that they need checklists of what to do when they get started. So I have checklists that are available for those coaches. I have videos. Some people like to watch stuff and take notes. Some people just like the group setting. Some people need to read everything. So I have a manual um, for the team. So when you are part of Limitless Warriors and you're one of my personal sponsored coaches, I try to get all that information in as much as possible so that way I can be the best coach to support you. So that's really important that you you know, you, you really focus on that. One of the biggest shocks that I think came to me when I hit Diamond, or actually even when I, well, yeah, when I hit Diamond, was that my business now was split between me growing my business and, and hitting Success Club and hitting the numbers that I need to sustain the income that I have so I can, so I don't have to work in corporate America anymore. Um, or at the same time, devoting time to my coaches to make sure that they can hit their numbers, they can reach their goals. So it was a big mix of running my business and helping to develop my coaches and identifying the leaders in my business. And the best way to sum this all up is a quote from Zig Ziglar, and sorry, the lighting's really bad here. Um, it's a quote from Zig Ziglar, and he says that you will have everything that you want in your life if you can help enough people get everything that they want in their life. And in this business, that cannot speak truer because in order for you to rank advance, it means that you have to have leaders under you. You have to have leaders on your team. You can't be a diamond coach without leaders and people stepping up to work the business. You can't be a diamond coach or a star diamond coach without people stepping it up. And, and growing their business and rank advancing themselves. So if you want to, if you're saying I'm going to be a five star diamond coach, then you better start working on identifying one, you know, recruiting awesome people who are on a mission to help people get healthy and fit that can really buy into what we do as coaches. Because this isn't, we're not consultants, we're not. Um, Salespeople, we're not distributors, we are coaches. We are people that are on a mission to help people get healthy and to get fit. So, and to change people's lives. So, if you are not um, 
getting people who are, are on board with that is going to be very difficult. Then you have to make sure that you are starting them off on the right foot with the getting started right calls and understanding how they want to be worked with and what personality types are they and what, you know, how can you best help them. Then you plug them into a, getting a new coach training group and, and checking in with them and being a liaison and, and, and doing one-on-one -on -one calls with them to make sure that they're going through the process properly. And then helping them to build their own team and be successful leaders for their teams. Because as they become leaders, their business is growing, they're hitting success club, they're doing everything they need to do, things are going great in their business, they advance to rank, which means you're now operating your business at a higher level because you've advanced in rank, and this cycle continues until you guys are all at the top together. And that's what I love about this business is that there's no – well, I'm the leader, so I'm always going to be the best. Here's a reality. One of my personally sponsored coaches is number, was like number eight last year in the company. And I was not in the top 10. But the great thing about it is she just went for it. And she took everything that she learned from everyone, not just from me. She was entering trainings and, and watching videos and really kicking her business to the next level that she just skyrocketed, hit diamond in 37 days. It's totally possible. And the funny thing is, I remember when she signed up to be a coach, she asked me, okay, what do I do to hit diamond? And I was like, I don't know because I'm an emerald. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got to step my game up. So that just goes to show that it doesn't matter, you know, where you are on the spectrum or, or on your team. The most important thing is that you're really focusing on getting your team and is helping them to be the best leaders they can be. Give them the training they need. Start recording videos. Find other videos that are available and start pulling them together to create these really cool training video, you know, packets for them. Um, you know, do what's needed to help them. Because if you only focus on yourself and your business, your business won't grow because your coaches are going to be like, well, pfft, she doesn't care about me. He doesn't care about me. Why would I, why should I try to, you know, push my business forward or I don't know what to do because they're so focused on their own business. So moral of the story is if you want to hit a six figure business where you're growing and you're achieving and you're just rocking it and knocking out the park, it's going to mean that you focus on hitting success club, hitting your numbers, but also focusing on adding people to your team and helping them to grow and be successful coaches. That is what's going to get you to the top and to be a successful coach. You're going to learn a lot about yourself. You're going to learn a lot about leadership, but if you do it right, you'll be able to trickle it down to your team and they'll follow in your footsteps and build successful teams as well. And it's a trickle down effect and everyone wins. There's not one winner at the top. It's a level playing field where everyone's successful and can have great opportunities in this business. But it's going to start with mastering those three vital behaviors and building the habits on a consistent basis to be able to share that and duplicate it moving forward. So that is all that I have for you today when it comes to um, rank advancement and growing your team um, and the best tips. And again, hopefully my whole objective of this kind of training was just to get you at least one tip that you can take back to the take back to the ranch and go back to the drawing board and work on your business a little bit more to get more momentum into your business. If you're watching this video as a replay because you weren't on the live call with some of our with my team, um, then just comment below and I'll answer any questions that you may have about your beach body business or if you're potentially looking to become a coach. Um, then you can also let me know as well and we can talk more about that. So thanks so much for watching. If you are live on the call, I'll stop the recording so you can answer, ask questions that I can answer. If you're watching the replay, just comment below or connect with me on Facebook or Instagram. So again, this is Allison Tibbs, two-star diamond coach with Beachbody, and hopefully you're having a great day. And for those live on the call, stay, stay put. We'll start doing your live uh, Q&A right now.